have them. I am um, happy. Yeah, it took about 900 years when yeah. I'm back. <laughs> so, how is this version of Gotham different from the version that you were at as a well, you're still young now, but a younger and <laughs> No, it's okay. I'm I'm proud of my age and I can honestly say I'm more than twice my age now. Um, but I have earned those years. It is you know, it's funny because there's actually a lot of similarities. I mean, it's a female, it's a female led cast. Uh, we had a female showrunner, creator, writer, um, and I think, you know, obviously there are going to be differences because there's been advancements in CGI and things like that, but I, I do feel very much like it's a bit of a homecoming because it's also me coming back to Warner Brothers and, uh, you know, the CW, which is sort of a, the WB was a predecessor too, so... Um, it, it's been it's been really lovely. It's kind of like a hand in a glove, actually. And then you get to see Ashley Scott again, hopefully. I know. I'm, I've been tell, telling everyone about that. I think I'm Ashley's publicist this weekend. I I'm really I've actually just talked to her yesterday, and she's bringing back. Um, she saved all her Huntress wardrobe, and she's gonna wear the original belt and necklace on the crossover. So I think that's a really cool little tidbit for fans. She she actually saved the bodice, but she she said it, it got shredded over the years. She was like, I can't wear this. But yeah. I'm gonna have party after this. I know. <laughs> yeah. Me too. So everyone was like, who are you excited to see on the crossover? I'm like, I mean, I'm just excited to see Ashley in Vancouver, so. Yeah, I personally think that it's always the most fun to play the bad guy. Um, you know, when you're the heroine, and, and Batwoman's a little bit different, uh, as is Batman, because there's a darker side to them, and, and that's part of who they are. But usually when you're playing the heroine, you have to be, or the hero, you have to be likable. Um, you don't have to worry about that when you're the bad guy. You can be liked for being bad. And so it's very fun, and Alice is such a juicy character because there's so many layers to her so she's you know not just bad for the sake of being bad there's a reason that she's bad there's something that's motivating her uh, and then of course you know she's twin sisters with that woman and and so that's been really fun to unpack and explore and it's it's such a unique relationship um, so Ruby and I have had a very good time doing that <laughs> uh, but yeah I, I would I actually, I think, would prefer playing bad guys for my entire career. But I, I joke, um, and I've said it so many times before, but I, when I got this part, I was telling all my friends, and I was really excited, and I was explaining the character, and they, you know, they all said to me, "You are perfect for this part," and I was like, "Yes, thank you." And then after a while, I was like. Mm, but she's insane, so <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> but I get all my crazy out at work, I think. So. How do you feel she became the, the person who became this character? Well, we'll actually go into the backstory and how Alice, you know, how Beth evolved to Alice in the show. Um, uh, it, you know, it started when she was 13 and there was the accident and she was presumed dead at the time. Obviously she was not and we're gonna see throughout the season what happens and it's, it's, it's really good and it's been a pleasure to play. So. Well, personally, my <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a difficult question because she's so nuts. But I really have enjoyed learning the butterfly knives. That's been really really fun, and I it's just such an interesting quirk of, of Alice's because she's talking, but it's almost like a you know the way people twirl their hair or bite their nail. It's it's kind of her tick, and she just does it. But it's it's so menacing. However, the way she does it is just you know like someone twirling their hair. Uh, it was a challenge to learn how to do them. But now that I know them, it's like my party trick. <laughs> so people come over, I'm like, want to see me do my butterfly knife? <laughs> and it's, so that's been my most enjoyable thing, because now I'm a badass. <laughs> uh, we are going into nine. 
Yes. I know maybe you can speak on specifics, but have there been certain scenes or upcoming scenes that you look forward to doing or you really, really enjoy? Yeah, I I mean, I always have a blast with Ruby on set. She's really lovely to be on set with. Um, I really enjoyed working with Drew Gray. Um, you know, I knew him from Ever After back in the day and Mission Impossible and he's just such a prolific actor and he's been around a really long time and I think anytime, you know, as an actor you get to work with someone who's who's been in this business and who is so good at their craft, you learn a lot from them. Uh, so I, I really, really genuinely enjoy my time with him on set. And he's also just like a bro, I, I love him a lot. <laughs> Last question, what learn more about your are they going to be like more episodes back? Yeah, so in, in the pilots, uh, I believe, which now everyone will have seen, there are flashbacks with our younger selves. Uh, we do actually have two actresses who play young Beth and young Kate, and uh, yes, you will you will see them again, I can see that, yes. You will, you will definitely see them again, so we're going to kind of go back and forth and, and we'll definitely explain uh, not only what happened to Alice in between, but also, you know, build that relationship for the audience on screen, seeing the two young actresses and they're both phenomenal. I actually think my young self is better uh, at, than me. <laughs> and I, but I, I watched her because I said to her, you're actually, I'm, I'm uh, mimicking you. You know, you're creating who Beth is and, and was. And so, yeah, I've really tried to watch what she does and sort of carry some of those characteristics. Do you think she could I... I think some of the best characters, one of my favorite examples is Walt Whitman in Breaking Bad because you always root for him. You know, he does these horrific things and yet you root for him because you think that he can be redeemed. And so I have played Alice, whether or not she can be, I have played her as though she can be redeemed because uh, I think it, it makes her more interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.